what's up y'all it is me tasha c and i'm making a pre-recorded uh day 44 uh for my tasha c tv my video journey and for my podcast the tasha c show another one is like 39 40 something like that so i was making a quick one today I just finished, like, doing one for the day, I mean, that opponent posted today on the 19th. Also, the day since I'm doing this for November 20th is the last day where, uh, like I said, Mercury Retrograde posts will go direct, okay? But, y'all, I just wanted to pop in real quick about a couple of things. Now, uh, with Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, what the heck is going on with Ray J and, and Princess again? Um, now... On the Soul Train pre-wars, I wasn't watching the whole thing, but I seen right was about the Ray J. He was holding Melody, you know, their baby Melody. You had a princess there, you know. I don't know when they post have their baby, but I know she, I don't. I think she's in her third trimester now. But uh, y'all, I was like this when it says they posted what Ray J said on his thing. He had the picture with him, like I said, his family, him on the, there, and. Ray J's like, thank you at BT, Snow, Soul Chain Wars, plus it's love, you know, tagging his wife and tagging up BT. And here you go, they picked it up on Jasper Brand, talking about some, you know, from Press Love, talking about left me and Melody stranded in Vegas and blocked me from calling. Now, you you want to post family photos. And then she got Hasek by Ugly and I like the crying with the tear emojis, like kind of like a laughing emoji. I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> That's their business, but you know, they. You know, remember he was baptizing her in the first season of Love at the Ho- uh, Love at the uh, uh, Love in Hollywood. Okay, so sadly, it's not surprising. I mean, if they still have problems like this, uh, I'm like some business. But hopefully, they can repair it. That's their business. But hopefully, they can repair it. That's all I have to say about that. Um, I just also wanted to talk about real quick. Did any of y'all see this damn cats? Now, I've been, you know, we've been, the most of the time, on the special was kid, I've seen, usually they play a couple of these shows, I don't know if they have Cats still performance, but I remember seeing Cats um, being one of, you know, these musical plays that they'll show, like, the cat eyes, and they'll show some, you know, in their costumes, dance a little bit, and then they'll be like, the premiere of Cats is coming to such and such such, and either Les... Mar Billy's. I don't want to mess up this title, but you know they had a little girl, um, and it's basically like the mom dies and the man ends up getting a fortune, was able to make his money a fortune. Yeah, you have to see. They made a movie version of it where uh, Russell Crowe was also singing it to it, and the man who plays that actor plays a heck out Wolverine, the last one with the movie Logan and all that other stuff. Never when he plays in there as well. But like I said, uh, yeah. Okay, next. <laughs> I went to end up seeing movie. I never had to see the play of that film. I ended up going to see because I was in, you know, in a program was undergrad, and they had free tickets. You signed up and you went to the movie theaters. So that's all the reason why I seen that. Um, not to say it was good, but I'm just like Russell Crowe was also singing in there. Yeah. So um, also the Harlem Nutcracker, which I seen and paid for because I was trying to go there for a class because it was a choir. Made you seen a play. And I ended up not, I don't think I even did the assignment at that time, I ain't gonna lie. I did go see the play, but I ended up doing the write-up. It was a dance class, but required to do a report for whatever reason as well. And to me, it was like, I don't know why, I was just like, I didn't like it. Maybe, maybe because of the end, ending, you know, whatever, spoiler alert. But it was just like, it's like I liked it, but I was just like, this is sad. <laughs> That's what the thing was. I thought it was going to be more lifeful. Um, you know, yeah, in the Nutcracker, especially around this time. I think it's a couple of um, things. I don't know if they still have Rent. I recently, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I've seen, I seen Rent. I, I'll leave it as that. You know, the video version, lovely version of it. I just seen a couple months ago. I still want to see because it's talking about what is it, Avenue Q or whatever that show's called. But that's only because i seen the first season of Big, uh, Big Little Lies, and that was good. And I heard. The second season was about nothing. I don't even know they even going to have a third season. It was supposed to be limited season anyway. But anyway, y'all, uh, seeing these certain, like, long-running Broadway shows and hearing about it, there are certain ones I, one I want to see, like Hamilton. I still would want to see Hamilton. But like I said, I, I don't know if I have, like, I have, like, sometimes general anxiety. But I don't know if I have social side, but I'm just like, I don't know if I want to be around all that many people again. Even though I went to a couple concerts and stuff. 
you know, I'll just just to bring this up, y'all. I actually went a couple times with Immature was popular, and you know, uh, Batman uh, had you know uh, Marcus Houston had his hair that bump carpeling, you know, that luster oil sheen going on that time. Okay, went to two of those. Um, other than that. I think I went to J- Jackson, and then I went to the one with Erica Baudu, Jill Scott, Zap Mama, and Macy Gray. Like I said, that's the times I've been to concerts. Anyway, um, I'm seeing, you know, this film's post version post come out of Cats. And when I read with Rent and I heard about the musical, I didn't watch the Rent live version. It came out, what, the beginning of this year? They were like, eh, whatever. But I, you know, sometimes I notice sometimes that a film can sometimes be, you know, it may not be a course, like if it's like based on a, you know, on a play and or based on a book, sometimes it can be good and sometimes they it didn't need to be touched. Okay. You know, it you can't get everything in a book, but you know how that's a chance, a 50, 50 chance. Okay. But even though I have not seen Cats yet, I know one damn thing. I'm scared. This I know this this like this supposed to be musical and stuff like this, but I seen like a couple months ago when they first had like this teaser trailer, and I'm sitting here like, what in the furries? And y'all go look up what that word furries mean. I've talked about it before about people who like dressing up like animals and stuff like that, and so and they get you know a kick out, you know, like get sex terrified that they be having you know uh, sex everything in some furry costume, you know, look, you know, whatever. So, um. <laughs> So that's what it looked like. A special is a special when they've been better off. They just you know the people who look better when they do the plays in the theaters versus the cats look better. It looks scary as hell. That's not something my behind wants to see. I mean they try you know they got you know Iris Ebra. They got General Hudson. They got Rebel. They even got a uh, a. Uh, t- Taylor Smith. All these big names because they show like a more you know more of a talking version this time instead of kind of like you know the music you just kind of don't really hear anybody talking the first one and it gives me more of a reason that i don't want to see that i'm not trying to be scared of seeing this damn cat movie and even a lot of people you know and you know how some people just agree with other people just say me but this is something that people are saying on youtube and everything even after they have this out it is scary to watch this it is scary to witness this I'm like, who thought this was a good idea? The only thing interesting that you might see is Arenas Eva knows how to disappear. He's the magical cat, I guess. I don't know. I know it's supposed to be Jelly Bean. I mean, I heard, you know, Wikipedia, of course. But I haven't, of course, watched it. And, you know, um, that lady that be playing all those films, I think she used to be part of Jane Bond. I, I know she was playing King, Queen of England something. She played something. Okay, it's a lot of names that, okay, if you don't know the people's names, you know them by face. Or at least, you know, if you, you know, see past this damn makeup and this damn boo. <laughs> I'm just like, this is up, if, if my family talk about any, my family talk about you want to go see cats, what? What cats? <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me that stuff? Unless people end up going to see it just for comical purposes, but I'm just like y'all. How do y'all really feel about seeing cats? I'm I, I'm just saying I I can't. I I'm not amused uh, about uh about this happening. Uh, I I it still scares me. I don't care if they play an extended version of a trailer, or whatever, and despite the cast that is on this production, it scared me, it scared me, it's something about, you can tell, like, they're not real cats, and they look kind of scary, and then the type of scary, it ain't because they have, like, all these sharp-ass teeth, or long, you know, they look like some mutant or monsters, but it still looks creepy as heck. You know, they're not like they're sitting here look like some demonic cats that needs some annoyed at all and needs, you know, the priest to take out the demon out of them and nothing like that. But I'm just sitting here like, what the hell were they thinking with this makeup? Now, I've heard 
that the reason, like, you know, everything looks bigger, because they post be trying to make them the real size of cats, okay, now, they did this, y'all, you know, remember, y'all, if y'all grew up, 80s, baby, 90s, baby, whatever, have you, I didn't know there was space in the book, but I used to watch this cartoon, too, it used to come, I think, on ABC Saturday, I think, remember the littles, y'all, the littles, you know, you remember, they were kind of like, they, Weren't they, like, half people, half cats? I mean, not half cats, but were they, like, elves? What were the littles? They're, like, half human, half cats, whatever. Then Did they have, like I said, I they had books, but I don't know the cartoon came first, or, you know, I didn't, they only had season threes? I, I didn't know they were based on novels. I'm just looking at Wikipedia, you know how I am. Um... But I did like the show, though. But I didn't know it only had number seasons, only three seasons. Only last, yeah, it was on ABC, September 10th, 1983 to November 1985. But I, did I see it around that time? Or, or see, okay, the Littles, um, yeah, they were based on the book. But now, I'm trying to see, like I said, they they had elf ears to look like. And they had, like, look like a mouse, not exactly a mouse tail, but... They were like style of the monsters. So I have to wonder if they're taking it with cats, do you think they'll have an audacity to come back and make like the littles? Because that's what it reminds me of. It's like they're the size of these damn, you know, little characters. So Google y'all if y'all have time on the show called The Littles. I don't know why I was thinking about gummy bears. But okay. But anyway. <laughs> um not gummy bears as the candy. There was actually a um, cartoon called the Gummy Bear or Gumby Bears, and it was another one called the Eagles. It was based on the Star Wars characters, but they were cute in, in the cartoons. I didn't know they actually were, you know, cannibals or AP. I, I don't know. A, I don't. I don't know. But they're not as cute in the Star Wars Enterprise. But like I said, the cats remind me of the size. Or a little bit bigger, or not too bigger than the Littles characters. Because the Littles characters, I guess, were supposed to be like half elves, humans, whatever. But they were like si- the, si- uh, uh, the, uh, the size of mouses. So just imagine that, y'all. If y'all remember Littles, this is kind of their version. And maybe I shouldn't put it out loud, because who's to say their asses may not make a remake of the damn Littles and sit up here doing it. And depending on the, what are they making, I can't deal with it if they make a real life human version like they try to do with cats. Maybe they get away with it and make a 3D, and they have to be careful 3D, so they won't make them scary neither the way how they do it. Because, you know, a lot of these new cartoons, they make them weird, like DuckTales. I tried watching two episodes of it. Yeah, I'm grown as hell, but I remember DuckTales. Um, I was like, what is this? I, I can't do it. Mm-mm. If this ain't, no, no, thank you. I'm good. So I didn't even watch the whole episode. I got turned off. They didn't give it a chance. But y'all, I'm just saying that I I don't know. I, I know it's sounds horrible. So somebody had to pay me some very nice money for me to watch it and lie and say, because I, I couldn't watch it and not tell you the truth. And it is the, 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 actually the parents of the characters is so cringy. That even if they're singing and if the show is wonderful, it it be it would be a turn off because the whole purpose of the show is for humans to kind of look like a human version, but they're cats, okay? And this is not really a pen. Yeah, it looks beautiful and colorful and all this stuff, but that's about it. Um, <laughs> is any of y'all looking forward to that? I know tomorrow, oh wait, well, is it supposed to be tomorrow? Frozen supposed to come out or Friday? Frozen 2. Now, how many people going to see that? Just like everybody who's playing Incredibles. Like I said, I still haven't seen Frozen yet. And I haven't seen Incredibles. Or Incredibles 2. I remember seeing, um, what, what is that guy, um, that adopted them for, uh, it, was, it was a, Disney film, and, uh, like, Pharrell did some of the music and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, remember they made a whole cartoon, like, a prequel of the Minions based on that, I- I'll think about that later, but I've seen, I think, the first and the second one, I've seen bits and pieces of, I think I've seen bits and pieces of the third one, too, so, and I only seen Toy Story, Toy Story One. I did not see all these Toy Story One, Two, Three, and Four. I've not seen all. I've not seen them yet. I'm just keeping it real. Um. So, anyways, 
um, how do y'all feel about that? And let me get off of here. I got too much to say today, but, you know, I, that just tickled me and kind of scared me at the same time. But anyways, y'all, hugs and loves, and God bless, and I'll see you on day 45. All right, ta-ta. Take care. God bless.